Retailers say Black Friday is a success, if that's how you can describe scenes like this. In the early hours, police were called to seven Tesco stores. Three people were arrested and the woman was hit by a falling TV. In Dundee, Glasgow, Cardiff and London, officers had to attend sales scrambles. The, the warning signs have been there for retailers. You have to plan effectively. Um, and as I've said to them today, you know, you cannot rely upon us to just come and bail you out. I think uh, what people have seen on that video footage is appalling, really. Um, people's behaviour uh, was absolutely terrible, and I think anybody that was in any of those stores should be asking themselves uh, the question, you know, what was I doing, why was I behaving like that? This phone footage shows aggressive competition to get widescreen TVs. And here a shopper uses tactics more common on the rugby pitch to lob an item towards his companion nearer the till. Elsewhere things were less feverish, but how real are the bargains? What's fascinating is, having spoken to some of these people, they've done online research, some of them have queued for over an hour, and yet they don't know exactly what product they want. They're here just for Black Friday. Getting a new phone. But do you know the price? No. Do you know the model? No. So in a way they've already won, they've got you here, and you don't even know what you might be getting? No, no, till I have a look. But they said that there should be something in there, but they wouldn't say what I would have found. Online too, the Black Friday sales assault is underway, with some websites seizing up under the strain. Overall, retailers are predicting takings of £360,000 a minute. There is suspicion that retailers use the camouflage of Black Friday to offload old models of technology. I think there's lots of products that are in there and of course there's old stock they're trying to shift equally in fashion. There's some stuff they need to clear, but it really is that momentum to get the shoppers in. This was all meant to be the retailer's way of setting the tone for Christmas. But so far, police reports show a security guard was punched, somebody has a broken wrist, one shopper in a wheelchair was injured. Not a starting point for the season of goodwill most would ever have wished for.